I know I can make the craziest haul in my life and I never thought I'd buy these pencils from Amazon. So I wonder, is this set worth it? Mabuhay! I'm Rama and welcome to my art space. And again, we're here for another product review. This time, it's this Amazon Basics pencil set. planning on purchasing this pencil set but I just needed to meet the $49 minimum limit that's needed to get that free shipping promo to the Philippines because I purchased some items from Amazon and actually I just wanted the free shipping promo so so far this is my new year purchase <laughs> honestly I'm not really keen on having too many pencils but since I saw that this is just up a little bit about seven dollars and i saw that they have uh not only pencils but they have a blender they have two erasers um charcoal um pencils and also a sharpener which would replace the sharpener that i lost <laughs> i thought why not try this one perhaps uh, i just needed to organize myself so i wouldn't lose more pencils <laughs> so okay without much further ado i guess we'll start testing this product After unboxing this set, I'll be trying out the graphite pencils first. Okay, now that we've opened the set, I, I want to begin first by making swatches or testing. I'm actually excited to use the set, honestly, because I've never really had a decent pencil set like this one. So let's first try the pencils. Actually, the pencils are different types. I am honestly just not familiar what types would be the one with the thickest lead or with the lightest um, lead. So let's check one by one. Okay. So let's start with 2B stick. Okay. This looks good. Then 3B. So 3B has a thicker coverage. So I suppose that the lower the num the lower the number of a pencil, the lighter the, the lead is. So this one is 2H. Yep, it's lighter compared to the 3B. And then the B. So the B is really thick. Yep. I continued to try the rest of the pencils. I find that some of them are not too different from the other. Or perhaps I was putting too much pressure on all of them. So it's time that I use the, these charcoal pencils. So in this set, there are three types of charcoal pencils. One's hard, medium, and soft. So, before using it, of course, we'd need to sharpen this up with the use of the sharpener. Charcoal pencils are softer compared to graphite pencils. They even have the tendency to break easily in the sharpener when they're too sharp. And it's frustrating when they break by the time they're already at their sharpest. It's a waste when that happens because I have to sharpen the pencil all over again. I should have put a paper or another cloth to cover the table so that it would not be messy. Charcoal, because they're softer, are messier compared to graphite so they leave lots of stains. Well, I could only do what I have to do to lessen the stains. Well, 
at least most of the stain is gone. Now let's see how the hard charcoal pencil looks like. Then let's tune in to medium. Since it's softer compared to the hard charcoal pencil, they can give a darker tone on the paper even when light pressure is applied. And here comes the soft charcoal pencil. I was expecting that it should give a darker tone compared to the medium, but the medium and soft charcoal pencils don't seem to have any difference from one another. Now we try the charcoal sticks. I expected that the soft black charcoal stick will give a darker hue. As for the hard one, it's lighter than the soft charcoal stick as expected, even though I put too much pressure on it. Now I don't understand why this set should have two brown charcoal sticks even though they seem to be the same. Yup, they seem to be the same, alright. I don't know when I'd need these charcoal sticks because they're really, really messy compared to pencils. Now, let's check the eraser. It can erase decently enough. And here's the kneading eraser. Now, the kneading eraser is almost similar to clay, so you can make shapes out of it. <laughs> like this. Catman. <laughs> but actually, the purpose of this kind of eraser is that you can make smaller erasers to erase fine lines. I think the kneading eraser is unnecessary because I don't know, I don't know if I'm not good at controlling it compared to the normal eraser which I can control normally. It's time to test the blender. I tried to blend these two types of graphite pencils. Well, not bad, I guess. Then we'll blend two types of charcoal pencils. Looks good to me, I guess. The dark stains on the blender can be removed by taking off a layer of it. The blending tool is actually just made of soft paper. But today, I couldn't find the edge of that layer. Okay, somehow I think I'm done testing with the pencils. And I guess we can test them better when we make a drawing. So I'm gonna draw that plant over there. And I'll be using my sketchbook to make that drawing with these new pencils. It's just a 20-minute sketch using almost all of the products in the pencil set. The only tools that I did not use in this sketch are the charcoal sticks. Because one, I did not want my hands to be messy again. And two, I couldn't decipher how they should fit in the picture. Especially that I'm encountering charcoal sticks for the first time. So this drawing only used the graphite pencils, charcoal pencils, and the blender as well as the eraser. And yes, I did not use the kneading eraser because it erases poorly. I think this set is good for beginners like me. Especially that I'm not really keen on using various um, types of pencils when making drawings. I just rely on one. And having variations of different types of pencils and having this blender has been really, really been helpful. Because I, I really like using the blender um, when making drawings. Especially when I like to add softer tones and shades on a picture. The charcoal ones, I'm yet to use. And for the eraser, I think I really would not need the kneading eraser. Maybe I can just make a clay formation of a dog or 
something. <laughs> I think the normal eraser is just enough for me. And the sharpener, I'm really thankful that I have a sharpener again. I really lost my sharpener. So I should take care of this. They're really just basics. As the name says, Amazon basics. So they're just a basic set. But I think it's also a good set i i don't think i wasted my money here and i think it's a set that's a good use for practicing drawing sketching and things like that and this is the area that i need to you know focus on right now so that's a wrap of my review and i hope this helps those who are considering buying this set and if you really like this video i hope you click the thumbs up button and if you are here in my channel for the first time, please click the subscribe and also click the bell button so you would be notified of future videos. Again, I'm Rema and thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again in my next art space. Not really the... the so... Magumagal. Magumagal. Ingay-ingay lagi nung ating mga. Busalan ko nga bibig. <laughs>